how to use dropbox business for beginners hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use dropbox business as a beginner and what are the features and what are the steps to get started and what are the features that will be available for you to use so without any delay let's get to the video so first of all what you need to do is you have to open dropbox.com business onto your uh, browser you can type it in, in the url bar and you can just uh, you know open it directly or you can just go on to google and search for dropbox business in the first link that comes up you can just open that and this is the site that you will land on as you can see this is uh, a dropbox uh, home page and it does more than store with dropbox with products for cloud storage and sharing e-signature document tracking and backup dropbox help make your work life work and life simpler it is a very good platform if you have a business if you have an enterprise or even if you are an individual who uh, with a small business or something this is a great platform for you where you can come and you can just uh, have everything your uh, documents your you know your document sharing is uh, on dropbox you can also link different apps on dropbox and you can you know manage teams and everything so this is a really good platform for you so what you need to do is basically you have two options right here this is start your free trial you can click on this one and you can just click on this get started here and both will take you to the same you know signing up process so i'm just going to click on start your free trial right here I'm going to wait until it asks me. Okay, so as you can see, these are some pricing plans that it has. You first of all, you have to choose your bundle, and then you can get started with it. Okay, so as you can see, there are two categories. First, there are some for individuals, and there are for teams. For uh, in the individuals, there are two options. You have you have a professional, and you have a professional plus e signature. So you can either have your professional for sixteen point five eight dollars per month, or you can have your professional plus e sign for twenty four point nine nine dollars per month. You can uh try any of this for free. Uh, and you can you know after your free trial ended you can just purchase it and then for the teams there are three options you have standard you have standard plus documents and then you have advanced so uh, you can uh, either have standard or you can have your uh, you know advanced but you cannot have the standard plus documents and in the free version you must have to purchase that one so uh, right now I am up with this one uh, right here the standard which is for $15 and I'm you know I already logged in with this one so that's why it's not showing me the options of try for free free or you know for just uh, start your free trial and everything and uh, but it is giving me this option which says switch trial so you can just come down and you can analyze all the features that all of these has and you can just pick one with the desired features like the features that you want and like file locking dropbox badge commenting plus button file request as you can see these are all the things that are you know available and in, uh, in some and not available in others so you can just uh, come down here and thoroughly search everything and you can just uh, you will find the one that is for you and then you can just get started with it so i'm just going to you know get started okay so after everything uh after giving in your team name after giving in your uh, account details and everything this is the home page that you will come on to which is basically the dropbox so as you can see this is my uh, team name which is test team and this is my space and my regular files are zero i have zero shared files and zero unused space as well but with this version i get 5 dp of space and i can just use that for my documents and i can share it and uh, whatever i want so uh like dropbox business standard trial you're an admin of the test team dropbox account so as you can see these are all the things uh, these are all the features right here and these are all the things that are uh, available here so if i go on to the general uh, section of my team here is my basics this is a photo name work email link your personal account i can add personal account info about where you work where you work you can just uh what's your organization called you can just uh, you know set it your title your size of your organization how many people are using uh are in the organization basically you can just uh you know have that then there's a language data format and date format sorry and then there's a automatic time zone and manually added contacts if you want to add any contacts you can just come here and you can uh you know add your contacts right here uh, when you go into the contacts i'll tell you how you can do that and there are default access to folder uploads and dropbox system extensions and features so uh, you can just basically come here and you have all these options you can just set up your general profile then you have plan then you have security in the security section here you have a smart security setup you can set up a password or two-step verification and everything and these are the web browsers that are linked to my account and mobile contacts and everything for the notifications you can just 
turn on and off different kind of notifications alerts email me when i delete a large number of files files for the news there are notifications you can just turn this on and off all of these according to your own need and want and then you have connected apps in the uh you know in dropbox you can basically have different uh you can connect different apps and you can use them uh according to uh you know your own need so uh what you can do is basically apps you connect will show up here uh, you can launch from dropbox or view dropbox content you can just go to app center and apps manage for your team members to go into the app center and show you which of the apps that are available for you okay so it's, these are the apps that are available as you can see this is dropbox capture docugami picket zoom slack paper by dropbox trello and then uh, work better together is dropbox for g suite microsoft office nitro and as you can see there are a lot of uh you know prezi prezi is available and productivity and zapier you can just get any of this app from uh here and you can just uh you know launch it onto your dropbox and you'll be able to use it in the dropbox and we're going to go back and show you the further process so then you have default app default apps are basically the built-in apps that are available on dropbox I and mean, you don't have to add them manually or you don't have to they're already available so as you can see there you have a word document you have excel workbook and powerpoint pre presentation and you can just come here and view in dropbox and uh, they'll open in the dropbox and as you can see this is paper desktop app choose what happens when you click a link to a paper doc on this computer okay so then there uh, you have basically after this you have your recents in the recents you will have the files that are uh, you have opened recently or just added recently onto your account and everything so you can come here and see your recents and i have my recents empty right now in the start section you can basically come and uh, have your uh, you know you can start different files if, you, if some file is important to you and you know that you'll need it later and that's why you want to have basically you know have it start and you don't have to go into the hassle of going through all the files to find that one so you can just start different files and they will be in this column right here then you have your signatures so uh, you can also assign your documents for you know digitally while using dropbox you can just uh, you know uh, have your signature made on dropbox then you can just come here and whenever there is a you know requirement for you to sign something you can just send for uh, you know send your signature uh, sign the document using dropbox and which is available for free in the basically plan that i have i have received three free sig signature requests each month allowing you to quickly get legally binding signatures from everyone so you can just uh, send for a signature and you'll be good to go then you have your shared files your file requests and your deleted files all of these are you know these are different uh file related um things uh here you can uh, the shared files are the one that you have shared with other people the file requests are basically um people wanting to send you different files uh, you'll find them here the ones you want to receive you can just you know accept the request and the ones you don't want to receive you can just come here and you can just ignore the request or you can just delete the request accordingly okay need some uh something from someone you can create a file request you can uh uh, request your first uh, file request i'm just going to show you how you can do that okay so this is a file request create new request you can explain what the request is for you can add extra details a uh, folder for upload files you can upload your folder and you can create a file request for yourself as well you can just uh, you know request this file and you'll be good to go and then you have basically your admin console i'm just going to show you how it looks like okay so this is my admin console this is uh this is you know search for members i can have you can manage licenses i can import scs uh, csv file and export member data from here and you i can also invite members i'm just going to click on here and i'm going to you know you have to basically add emails and add an optional message and you can add an action you can give different action to your your people like um do this or do that or whatever as you can see install the desktop app install the mobile app this is the action add files to team space these are all the actions that i can give to my different members by you know tagging them by having their name um, written with that specific task so that they know that this task is assigned to them you can just come here and add different members to your team and you'll by adding in their email then you can search for your members here and this is me this is my and i'm the team admin and the usage right now is your bytes and then you have activity content group security billing you can make different groups like if you have any if there's a task which requires to your more people you can make a group of them and you can uh, you know have your uh, you can send a task to entire group so that you don't have to go through the hassle of sending each separate task to each of the person and you can add different contents you can add security billing settings so this is basically the whole basics of dropbox you can see it is very easy to use that it's nothing uh, that is not beginner friendly and you can just come here and create everything and you'll be you know in no 
time you will be good to go and you will be able to solve all your problems by just you know uh, managing strings from here and from there so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you found it helpful if you have any queries just comment them down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys and keep uh, you know keep watching my content and give this video a big thumbs up until the next video i'll see you guys bye bye